Everything you see here is sacred to us because it's our home. When the alligators that are brought here are brought here from being a nuisance to the public, and when the regular people get too close to them, they become a nuisance, and the attacks happen. So they're brought here to be stayed here and to live out their life in a safe and secure place. We respected them as, a, as an animal because we all share the same home, which is the Everglades. When the Mississippi started their transition into alligator wrestling, there were certain traditions that were followed. The way that they used to do it back in the day was a little bit different than the demonstration you see now. Because when my father used to demonstrate, uh, we were allowed to, um, to turn the alligator over on its belly and all the blood rushes to the brain and knocks the alligator unconscious. And this is how we, we would tie them to the side of the canoe and we would bring them back. That's how we kept them alive. And so they wouldn't thrash around and stuff like that. But they never harmed the animal. When my father would demonstrate, he would tell the people that uh, it's deemed alligator wrestling, but it's not like they're gonna grab the alligator and roll around with them. Uh, you know, it's just the way that we used to handle and subdue an alligator single-handedly. People are very big on conserving the nature within that we live on because it's just one of a kind and we don't like to see our home get damaged and go to waste, you know. So we do as much as we can for nature and to protect the ecosystem around here. When the people come here, I want them to take away is the unity, the respect, the traditions of the Mikasiki people, how we live with the Everglades and how we respect all elements of the Everglades as a whole. We want you to come and see the alligators and learn about the culture and how we respect each other.